This is Mary Merker. I'm with the Virginia Beach Higher Ed Center, and this is my reading strategy presentation on fact and opinion. A fact is information that can be verified or proven to be true. An opinion is an expression of someone's feeling or belief, which may or may not be true. In today's world of increased media and internet exposure, it's most important that students be able to evaluate what they read, what they hear, and what they experience. They need to learn that not everything in print is true, and not everything that they see on the media or on their computers is true. They also need to know that there's a great deal of bias in our world that they need to recognize. Advertising increasingly targets children. The jingles and phrasing are so enticing it's magically delicious, or it melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Children, even at an early age, are capable of learning about the persuasive and profit-driven motives of advertisers. Lessons about fact and opinion can benefit every grade level's critical literacy objectives. Teachers could take some of these useful approaches when teaching their students about fact or opinion. First, Determine what's the author's purpose in reading selections. Is the author trying to persuade us, inform us, entertain us? Secondly, students could be taught to look for signal words that clue us into recognizing opinions or personal beliefs or feelings. Look for words like, I think, I believe, in my view. Thirdly, students can think about how a factual statement can be proved in some way. Can we measure it, weigh it, count it? Or can a fact be looked up in a reference book to verify that it's true? Teachers can instill a spirit of inquiry or looking at information with a critical eye. Students can be encouraged to be judicious thinkers. Students can be encouraged to take a stand on controversial issues and offer their viewpoints during class discussions. Last of all, vocabulary study can incorporate the power of words. There are positive and negative connotations associated with lots of certain words. Words like evil, stupid, exhilarating, profound, wise, all carry lots of weight. How can students benefit from learning about fact and opinion? First, they can identify how vocabulary can be used to judge or persuade. Secondly, they can recognize connotations and denotations. Third, they can learn how to verify or prove factual statements. Fourth, they can learn words that signal opinions. Fifth, they can determine the author's purpose. Sixth, draw logical conclusions based on facts and text evidence. They can judge sources of information. Is it up to date? Is it unbiased? Look at the URL source. Eight, they can identify slanted, biased, or emotionally charged information. Ninth, they can identify propaganda and advertising techniques. And tenth, they can reinforce other comprehension strategies like inferencing, elaboration, imaging, visualization, drawing on background information, or dramatization. The lesson that I'm going to show you today is a way that a second or third grade teacher could share fact or opinion football in the classroom. In this activity, students will be identifying fact and opinions by playing a football game. First, they will place two goal posts at the center and place fact or opinion cards face down in a stack. Taking turns, student one draws the top card from the stack without revealing it and reads the sentence to student two. For example, apples, peaches, and oranges are types of fruit. Student two decides if the sentence is a fact or opinion and responds, that's a fact. Student one checks the bottom of the card for the answer, fact or opinion. 
If correct, student one gives the card to student two, who places it on his goalpost. If incorrect, the card is placed at the bottom of the stack. Then the students reverse roles. They continue until all cards are placed on the goalposts. This has been my presentation on fact and opinion. I thought it was amazing, but that's just my opinion.